In the following experiment, you will see the performance of a non-antimicrobial PIC versus a chlorhexidine-treated antimicrobial catheter called the AeroGuard Blue Advance PIC. Both catheters will be challenged with Staphylococcus aureus, one of the most common CRBSI-causing organisms. Catheter segments are placed in two chambers that were pre-contaminated with a Staph aureus strain specifically designed to produce green fluorescence when attaching and replicating on the catheter surface. Circulation of the nutrient medium needed for bacterial growth is maintained throughout the experiment duration. Temperature and flow in the chambers were maintained to mimic human body conditions. Real-time video recordings under a confocal microscope simultaneously show the surfaces of both catheter segments for 24 hours. The recording shows how much of the green fluorescence producing Staph aureus will adhere, colonize, and form biofilm. On the left is the non-antimicrobial control catheter segment, while on the right is the AeroGuard Blue Advance PIC antimicrobial catheter segment. Bacterial colonies start to develop within four hours on the non-antimicrobial control segment. These colonies continue to grow and rapidly change into biofilm form. At 14 hours, the entire non-antimicrobial segment is completely covered with biofilm, while the antimicrobial chlorhexidine-treated aerocatheter segment remains clean and free of any visible bacteria throughout the 24 hours. You may notice after 15 hours a decrease in the green fluorescence on the non-antimicrobial catheter segment. This is due to detachment of the continuously growing biofilm in the circulating medium. Imagine what this detached biofilm would do if it occurs in the bloodstream. Biofilm shedding into the bloodstream can lead to a catheter-related bloodstream infection. The AeroGuard Blue Advance PIC antimicrobial catheter did not allow the bacteria to attach, colonize, and form biofilm, hence preventing all the precursor steps which are necessary for CRBSI to occur in this particular pathogenesis. For more information, visit www.teleflex.link/pick or contact your local Teleflex sales representative.